Thanks. It's the Tony Rose Show, D93, and we are joined by one of the uh, most legendary actresses in Hollywood, two-time Academy Award winner and star of the new movie, Ordinary Angels, which is out now for viewing in theaters. It is the iconic Hillary Swank. Good morning, Hillary. How you doing? Good morning. I am wonderful. Thank you. How are you today? I am doing great. I just have to ask, like, where do you keep the Academy Awards setting? Like, are they on the mantle? Are they in a safe space? Like, where do you, like, once you win an Academy Award, what do you do with it when you get it home? Is it like when I run a 5K and I get the little medal and I show it to all my friends? What do you do with an Academy Award? Well, I like to share it. Um, So when I first got it, it went to my mom's, it went to my agents, and (laughs) Um, you know, I like pass it around and let it be in, in, in people's offices and people's homes and, um, people who had, um, helped me, um, in my career and believed in me. But right now it's just sitting on my bookcase, which everyone just kind of goes, oh, like, I don't know what, I, what they're, what they are expecting to hear. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, it's a, like I said, it's a real honor having you on and You know, we are in that season now. What's the emotion that you think guys like Paul Giamatti and folks like that are feeling right now as they are kind of in that hurry up and wait stage uh, for the Academy Awards? Um, I think that they're feeling great. They're feeling um, excited, and it's such an honor to be nominated. It's a um, it's a true uh, like kind of crazy dream state that you're in when you're when you're nominated and then when you're there you just got to kind of breathe and take it in and be in the moment because it it goes by quickly (laughs) well and and now you're at a stage in your career where you can really get parts that you want and that you feel passionate about that that hit you in 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 the ways that and move you in ways uh that you know you may have not been able to do early in your career um and, and one of those projects ordinary angels out now this is a this is this is a good movie. I mean, this is a really really good movie. A lot of heartfelt message to it, and a great story behind it as well. Kind of tell the folks what they're going to get into when they check out Ordinary Angels. Yeah, thank you for saying that. Um, this is a it's all of the things you just said. I I it's a true story about a woman who is just larger than life. She's flawed. She's definitely imperfect, um, but through um, kind of in the, her darkest night of the. What's that? What's that saying? Darkest night of the soul. Right. She um, she sees someone in need, and through serving them, she kind of finds her fullest purpose. But you know, she's funny. The movie's funny, and it's yeah. it's touching, and um, and you're you're in for a fun ride. It's um, it, we got a beautiful A plus score from the from the theater um, from audience viewers, which is so rare. And it's just a sign that, you know, I think people want to see see a, a feel-good movie, people doing good. And, and, and it really resonated with me on a lot of different levels because it deals with a lot of different issues from addiction to uh, being an organ donor and, um, and just people connecting on a, on, a, on a level that resonates in a beautiful way. Yeah, it's, it, like I said, it's, it, it's it's a movie that inspires a lot of hope, and it's another movie too. Where like we were again, there's there's always plot twists and turns, even in real life stories. And I think this is a movie too, where as soon as you think it's going to start curving one way and, and going in one direction, the, more adversity hits and more things hit, and then you see where this story goes, and you see what true hope and inspiration that the human the human nature can be really. And I think that's what we need in the world: just movies that inspire decency and good human heart and i think this is a movie that does that yeah thank you for saying that and i couldn't agree more yeah uh so it is out ordinary angels is the movie uh tell us about your cast with you in this movie too because i know like i said you're the star but you've got a lot of great folks it, it takes it takes an army to make a movie like this who are some of the folks that we'll see on screen with you in this yeah we have alan richen we have um we have um nancy travis um, we have these young girls that are so talented, Skywalker and Emily. They are, um, you know, it's I, I don't know how they found the, 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 the way they connected. I mean, we did a lot of um, improving too, and they were just like, I mean, so deep. I, I mean, they were like, I think one of them was five when we were filming, and I wow. was thinking, gosh, I don't even think I could like come up with that at 40 the age I was when yeah. we filmed it. It was, it was remarkable. 
What's it like when you see like young actresses like that? I mean, I know obviously, you know, you started young as well in your career, but you know, this is young as well. It, it, do you kind of find yourself being set mom? Do you kind of find yourself being a uh, big sister? Is it a little bit of all those giving advice, but at the same time, letting them ask you questions too? Oh yeah. Um, but you know, they be working with kids, is such a great reminder of finding the joy in what we do yes. because I've been doing it now almost 35 years. And as much as, I mean, I love it. I love it even more now than I've ever loved it. And yet at the end of a six day week, when you're working 15 hour days and you are really tired, you see these kids run in and they're like, hi, <laughs> and they're so happy to be there. It just puts everything right back into perspective and, and reminds you, like, I remember when I was a struggling actor and I was like, I'd do anything to be on this set. I'll work as many hours as I need. I just want to be a working actor. I love acting. Right. And so they're just a reminder to find joy, and as kids often are in, in many different aspects. I, I highly advise everybody to check out Ordinary Angels, uh, starring the beautiful, of course, and talented Hillary Swank, who's with us. Uh, we appreciate the time. It's a real honor having you on. You've brought us so much joy in your career so far. We can't wait to see where your career takes us uh, in the future as well. Uh, you're one of the true best in Hollywood. We appreciate the time as always and, and just uh, being so kind to us uh, to take a few minutes and talk about this new movie. Continue best of luck, and uh, let's chat again soon, okay? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's such kind words.